So I got another infield from Royal Tiger, another number one Mark III. I got it when they were still on sale. They were only $3.99. So I found the other one wasn't too bad, so I decided to order another one and see what I get. I'm actually pretty happy with this one. This one looks better than the last one I got. And I um, just wanted to show you guys. Butt plate looks pretty good. The screws on this one are actually in really good shape. So I should probably be able to take them out. Be able to clean up the butt plate. It's missing the brass disc here. And it has a little kind of dent here in the stock. This guy looks like an old stock repair right here. It's got some markings here. Looks like 1918, shortly. Once I clean it up, I'll be able to see if there's a uh, manufacturer marking or not. Looks pretty good. I mean, there's a few little things in the stock, but otherwise, pretty good condition. This part of the stock is usually broken. These two pieces get split off, but looks like there's you know damage to it. A little bit of surface cracking. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other side. Butt stock looks good. Looks like a little chip right here. Otherwise looks pretty good on this side. So go ahead and break this down and I will take a picture of what the internal parts look like and do some videos on it. I did get a chance to look at the bore. Uh, the bore looks pretty good, just needs to be cleaned. So I'll take a picture of that as well once I clean it up. So here's the number one all broken down. Start out with the bolt. Bolt came apart okay. It was the firing pin was really stuck, and when you use this tool to get the firing pin out, you want to be careful because if you you know turn this too hard, you don't want to break any of these teeth off in your firing pin. So what I did was is I basically put um, this tool in a vise, and I got this um, bolt basically turn it upside down like this and just slowly push down here and carefully on the uh, on the bolt here and just sort of kind of twist it and eventually when I felt it broke uh, I knew that the, the thread was finally broken. It's probably just gummed up back there. Uh, spraying some coral on it also helped to get it loose. But I don't see any rust or damage to it. I think it was just a lot of grease was in there and that was preventing it from coming out. So under the wood there's a lot of basically just dust and dirt and all kinds of other particles. But I don't really see any rot or anything. The metal parts look really good. There's a you know there's a bit of patina on the outside, but you know it looks like the bluing's all there. Same with this part of the stock. Looks pretty good. Just need some some linseed oil. You can see where the barrel lays, same deal. Just got a bunch of dust and, and dirt. But otherwise, pretty good. I don't see any cracks or any damage to it. Now, the butt stock looked around here. Didn't see any damage to the inside of the wrist. Sometimes you get some shrinkage there, which causes the butt stock to be loose. So looking at here at the receiver, it looks dirty, but again, I don't, I don't see any, any issues, any pitting or a lot of the bluing still there. Just looks dirty, so it should clean up really nicely. 
I always recommend this on my videos, but I'll put all the small parts and everything in the Ziploc bag and I'll actually put the bolt and all these other parts in there. And that's what I'll let them sit and just sit them in some croil or some hops, WD-40, and then wipe them down. That's all we need to do to clean them out. So I'll go ahead and start cleaning this and then I'll show you how it looks after it's cleaned. I took it all apart, cleaned it up, start with the buttstock. That stock looked good. It had a stock repair at some point. You can kind of see the seam here. I guess this part was damaged and they replaced this. It's missing the disc here. And there's a stock repair here. Right on the wrist. Otherwise it looks good. Another bit of linseed oil on this. We'll take off some of this dirt that's on it. But the butt stock looks really nice. Still got all its finish on it and everything. Stock bolt looks really nice. There's no like serious pitting or anything on it. A lot of times these get pretty badly pitted. And you really like the waist design on it where the whole bolt's not in contact with the wood. It does have a square tip, so it does actually fit into the uh, four stock here. So, just again, always remember to take the forestock off before the buttstock. Forestock's also good. Just a normal storage wear and dings. Inlay for the barrel actually looks really nice. I don't see any rot or damage anywhere on it. Magazine actually, I mean, it has some bluing left. It does have um, some kind of patina here from where it was exposed to the outside. Bolt looks good, functions well. Parts came out and cleaned up nicely. Very, very minor bits of pitting on the receiver here it was exposed, but it's barely noticeable. It's got lots of proof markings on the barrel. No pitting or any damage to the barrel, which is always good, especially planning to shoot this. So, Middle band looks good. Nose cap looks good. I mean, the bluing's been worn on it a bit, but it's still there and it's got a really nice layer of patina as well. So these parts came out pretty good. I'll be reassembling it. I'll do a video how it looks like I'll put together. So it is all cleaned up, put it all back together. Go take a closer look. The butt stock, I was able to get a replacement disc for the butt. I got it from uh, Numeric. I had to shave this down about half of its thickness though. It was really thick and basically sticking up out of the wood, but it's nice and flush now. Parts look pretty good. Functions really well. Here's a nice close-up of the markings. A little shallow. Put some, some chalk in there. Get a closer look at it. 1918. Bolt functions really well. Overall looks to be in pretty good shape. No significant stock damage. Go ahead and flip it over. It's the other side of the butt stock. I had to get two washers to put inside of here. The um, the stock bolt was protruding, and um, when when it was tight, it wouldn't actually be um, um, straight enough to allow the the four stock to go in. So I had to add two washers to make it uh, be able to fit.
Parts look pretty good. Wood looks good. Overall, a pretty nice rifle. I'm actually pretty happy with it uh, for $399. It's a pretty good deal for an infield these days. Everything looks good. Go ahead and show you the bore as well. So the bore has some pretty good uh, grooves still left in it. Rifling looks good. Pretty even down. And um, no pitting or anything. So should be a pretty good shooter. Look forward to taking her to the range and, and trying it out. If you'd like to see any more of my videos, feel free to like and subscribe. Should be getting some more in in the near future.